friends, it's Nia. Welcome to A Life with Nia. Today we are unboxing the cloth and paper estate box. This is my first estate box. Um, I ordered it late. I watched um, the cloth and paper unboxing and then I looked at a few different posts about what was included in people's um, reception to what they had received and ultimately um, there is a pocket sized leather agenda included that would essentially cost the same as the box which is you know 149 um, and I can't like not have another agenda like I always need a new agenda so um, I figured I'm buying the agenda and I'm getting everything else free so that is what made me decide to get the box. It is a quarterly subscription um, of, I think they do one cloth and paper item every time and then lifestyle items. Um, so before I opened this box, th this box was inside of another bigger brown box. And um, so we have this box. But before we open that one, the first thing I'm going to show you is the um, Joy Jolt glasses. Um, they are called Bloom Coop. They are um, martini glasses, but they have a different shape than your normal martini glass. I am a fan of a lemon drop martini, and um, I have tons of glasses and stemware, but I thought these would be fun for summer, making a little lemon drop. And so, here is the glass. So it's got a, a different little shape to it. Um, I know some people are saying they're, they don't drink, so they're putting their water in there. That's a, a fine, um, thing to do as well. So it's a set of two glasses. I have absolutely nowhere to put them. So they're going to be in, um, the box for now, but they're 9.2 ounces and there's a better picture of the shape. It's like this bloom coop. Um, type of shape, long stemware, 9.2 ounce glass set of two. So that's the first thing that was included. All right, so let's get into this big box. And so here on the inside, it says a steep, a person who has or affects to have a special appreciation of art and beauty, the Estate Box by Cloth and Paper. All right, so all of our little goodies in here. I'm gonna do this last. So we've got a um, little package full of, there's my receipt, um, there is a coupon code for a espresso machine, which I have an espresso so I don't need an espresso machine. Um, there's a couple of coupon codes in there. Okay, so there's leather information for the planner. Um, we'll come back to that for... Okay, so this has a list of all of the products. So uh, going back to the glasses, um, it says don't settle for less when you can have a mesmerizing high-end bar experience in the comfort of your home. The functionality of the Joy Jolt Premium Bloom Martini glasses is limited only by your imagination. Try our mar margarita or why not a shaken martini. Our coupe glasses have a unique design that complements every extravagant drink. 
you will receive a set of two stem glasses made from lead-free crystal, capacity 9.2 ounces, manufactured in Europe, dishwasher safe, backed by a limited one-year manufacturer warranty. And you know what? I will just go ahead and tell you, um, this has the listing um, of the, what's included in the box. It does have the retail cost, so these retail for $56.99. Um, you can purchase them at joyjolt.com. So that's the first thing. Um, next is um, something for you to put in your stemware. And that is Gia. It is a non-alcoholic aperitif. I've been like looking at this online and trying to find information. Like to me, it looks like Bloody Mary mix. And I am not going to drink anybody's Bloody Mary. So, um, I was like, what is it? What does it taste like? I read the ingredients and it still didn't really tell me anything. I don't think I would dislike it based off of what's written there, but I think it's probably bitter. Um, it's got like Riesling white grape juice, um, yuzu juice, which I don't even know what that is. Jertian root extract, lemon balm extract, fig concentrate, elderflower extract, orange peel extract, rosemary extract, ginger extract, fruit and vegetable juice for color. Mm. Um, so it is, like I said, a non-alcoholic aperitif. A speak subscribers are the first to get their hands on the new mini size bottle of Gia, which will launch... On April 12th, it's a non-alcoholic aperitif that tastes like summer on the rocks, packed with only pure, natural ingredients, potent plants, heart, hearty herbals. That's where you lose me. Um, Blythe Botanicals, everything inside the bottle was picked because of its completely natural ability to soothe and stimulate. Each glass promises to kick up the energy and calm down the mind. No sugar added, no fake flavor. Not your traditional mocktail, all of the spirit, none of the booze. Gia's goal is to change the way we think about drinking and socializing one night off at a time. Retail cost is $22. So I will let y'all know if I am feeling um, brave enough to give it a try. I'm waiting for some additional, to see some additional feedback on people's thoughts on what it tastes like. I'm just not the adventurous type. Okay, so next we have um, the Oyel. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I'm going to say Oyel. Um, body scrub, orange rose. Now, I was thinking I probably was not going to like this, but it is more of an orange scent than a rose scent. I'm not super big on florals. They irritate my allergies. Um, but I really like this scent it smells really good and it is a body scrub so you could use it on your whole body I'm gonna after this video go use it on my hands um, my hands are so dry all the time and this is packed with like um, avocado oil and hemp seed oil and jojoba oil and vitamin E and sweet orange essential oil and rose flower oil so I think all those oils will probably make my hands feel really good um, it says it's rich with health and beauty benefits. Oil scrubs cleanse, exfoliate, soothe, and smooth. Turning an everyday shower into a spa treatment, take the body scrub in palm with some water and apply in circular motion to the back of arms, legs, and body. If using on feet in shower, please be careful. Um, and then it lists the ingredients and the retail cost is $48. So that is, um, that item. Okay, so next we have the um, Oco. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. O C C O Oco um, spices. It's a four pack recipe card deck. So you get jerk veggies with seven minute eggs. There's a recipe card and the seasonings. Um, perfect simple citrus chicken. Faux spice beef sish kebab and seven spice catfish tacos. The retail cost is $20. So we'll just open up one of these. So this is the um, jerk veggies with seven minute eggs. Um, 
and it's an assortment of roasted vegetables and soft boiled eggs are brought to life by a hot and tangy jerk dressing. Ingredients included are two habanero chili peppers, two allspice powders, two tela cherry black peppers, and two thymes. And then it's got a, um, what do you call this, a little code on here where you can scan it and QR code and get the recipe. Um, so that's cool. And then, so here's the different spices. They're labeled. So this is thyme. Then you have pepper, chili, and allspice. Um, and they are little capsules. And so once you use it, you can toss it, um, which kind of, you know, without having this big old bottle, it sort of minimizes the waste a little bit there. And then it tells you the amount of um, seasoning that's in there as well. So half a teaspoon. Okay, so let's check out one more. Um, perfect simple citrus chicken. So equal parts herbal and zesty. This simple marrow made infuses the chicken with bright spicy flavor. So you've got some um, smoked paprika, California garlic powder, Madras curry powder, and rosemary. And I'm thinking because there's, well, there's only one of the rosemary. I was thinking maybe there's two of each, so maybe you only use, it's enough to make two different recipes, but I'm not sure without actually looking at the recipe. So that is the Oko spices, and again, the retail cost is $20. It's a nice little book. Um, packaging so you know you can sit it in your kitchen shelf or whatnot. Um, it's nicely packaged. Okay, next we have the Lavant Collective Cleaning Kit. Um, we've got a nice um, cloth drawstring bag that it was included. It says Levant Collective on the front. Um, Levant Collective's high performance multi surface cleaner elevates the everyday chore of wiping down your surfaces all while protecting a powerful clean to remove grease, grime, and the uninvited house guests living on your surfaces. Upgrade any counter, kitchen, or bathroom with their beautiful recycled plastic bottle and modern trigger spray. The luxury trigger spray bottle can be refilled again and again thanks to the amazing multi-purpose concentrate. Levant Collective's biodegradable cleaning wipes are powered by plants to tackle your everyday messes. These wipes are uniquely formulated using the most powerful plant-based ingredients to wipe away everyday messes and clean high-touch surfaces. Discreetly hidden in elevated Levant Collective packaging, these luxurious thick unscented wipes will last longer and keep your spaces looking good. Anywhere you choose to use them, the cleaner and wipes come kitted in a branded drawstring bag. Retail cost is $24. So, in here we have um, a very pretty bottle. Got our spray nozzle and our wipes. So the wipes are packaged um, like this. You can use them on counter, stone, tile, glass, and wood. Suitable for most non-porous surfaces. 30 biodegradable unscented wipes. Um, so that is that. I don't want to open them up. And then on here, I love that this is the way this is packaged because liquid and so you always run the risk of it spilling in transport. This is not glass. This is, um, I thought it was glass the way I'm looking at it through the thing, but it's a, a plastic or some other type of material. Again, can be used on counter, stone, tile, glass, wood. Um, 
says uh, spray surface and wipe with a clean dry cloth for tougher messes allow spray to sit for 30 seconds then wipe dry and um, they do sell like a concentrate so you can just easily refill um, and add some water and reuse the same bottle which is usually less expensive and it smells really really good so that is the natural multi-purpose cleaner in fresh linen um, again, the retail cost, I'm assuming for both combined, because um, it only lists one cost, is $24. All right. Next we have... So this is the incense um, holder, miso incense holder, and um, yield incense and holder. So this um, the glass miso incense holder is inspired by Mesopotamian architecture. It perfectly suspends thick incense and is a perfect pedestal to watch your incense burn. Made from borosilicate glass, measures three and a half inches deep by two and a half inches high. Retail cost for the incense holder is $28. Then we have the chamomile incense, which I love the scent of incense. Everything that I've seen People have said this doesn't smell like your ordinary cam chamomile and it doesn't smell like your ordinary incense, um, which can have that like sort of smoky smell to it. Um, it says that the, it's inspired by chamomilium no nobile, also known as Roman chamomile. This chamomile series reveals an herbal bouquet of apple blossom lavender and calming white tea feels like picnicking in a cool summer day chamomile incense is part of the botanical collection candles and incense with subtle yet distinct compositions inspired by a selection of our favorite arboreal and floral species the pack contains 15 hand rolled bamboo and tree resin sticks with an essential oil and fragrance oil blend each stick is 10.5 inches in length one hour burn time. The retail cost on the incense is $18. And it does smell really good. Um, it doesn't smell quite like chamomile at all. I definitely can smell the, um, the lavender. It's kind of like a lavender chamomile blend to it. A little bit of floral which is probably that apple blossom but it smells really good um, doesn't smell like incense at all I, I definitely agree with what other people have said so that is the chamomile incense and holder okay so that is all of the non cloth and paper products um, the last item is the cloth and paper pocket planner bundle and this bundle features our newest pocket contoured six ring agenda in a luxurious white leather with silver rings. We've included three sets of pocket size cloth and paper journaling inserts and a pocket size frosted document pocket to get you started with your new planner. Retail cost of the contoured six ring agenda is one nineteen. Okay, so I thought it was one forty nine and one nineteen. Um, the journaling inserts are ten ninety nine each. You get three of those, and then the frosted document pocket is two ninety nine. Petey says hi. So if you take, um, one nineteen for the agenda. $10.99 for the three inserts and $2.99 for the pocket. 
that is $154.96, which exceeds the cost of the box just for the cloth and paper items alone. So these are the three journaling inserts. Um, it has monthly mood tracking, journal place for journal entries, and affirmations. Um, I am, let's see, I will open it up. So here is, I always think the pocket size is so cute and then I don't use it. Um, but we're going to work on that because I, I love this. I, I'm going to work on using this. I got all the pocket size stuff ready to go. Um, so here's a place for journaling prompts and questions, some things for you. There's a place for your mood tracker, your affirmations and inspiration dot grid area. There's a place for you to put a key and then you've got where you put in your date and dot grid space to write in. Um, I have these for my A5 and I think there's 15 pages, so um, probably the same here. Back page is lined. Let's see, one. Count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 14, 15, so there's 16 here, so 16 times 3 is 48 days, so about a month and a half worth of journaling um, if you do it every day. Okay, so then you've got your frosted, hopefully... I was showing y'all what that actually looked like. Let's see, my camera's a little far back. Um, frosted document holder, so this is a nice place to put um, a journaling card. It's top load. So. in there. I have lots of cards. None fit. Did I tell y'all PD said hi? PD, you gonna say hi again? business card because I don't I don't have anything that's this size but frosted document holder page flags or something like that could fit in there these don't quite fit too big but anyway so let's get into this agenda which is what, the star of the show in my opinion because this was why I ordered the box um So it is inside this white, like gift-like box. It has cloth and paper embossed on the front, and the agenda is in the cloth and paper dust bag. Alright, and there she is. She is little. She's cute. There's my hand. Show you how the sizing is on a pocket. Um, I love the contoured look. I right now my half letter is in the black contoured planner. Um, I just think it's really pretty. So I would say this, like, I think it was described as winter white. Um Yeah, it's described as, well, it says luxurious white here. I thought I read somewhere that it was described as winter white, and I don't think, I don't know, maybe I don't know what winter white is. I don't feel like it's winter white. It almost looks a little cream, like an off-white to me. Um, 
doesn't take away from the beauty of it. It's very pretty. So, silver hardware. It's very stiff. Um, silver cloth and paper embossed down there. Um, it's going to take a literal miracle for this. This is never going to um, lay flat. Like my, my half letter lays flat because I have it laying flat all, almost all the time. But I don't see this ever laying flat. It'll never be enough weight on it to... So if that bothers you, um, you know, if these become available later, that's just something to keep in mind. Um, it's, it's just not going to happen. I just don't see it happening. I don't know. I could be wrong. Anyways, you have a pocket here, and then you've got three pockets, and then you have this pocket here, and all of this is very tight. Um, it is leather, so it'll loosen up over time, but it'll take a bit. Um, six rings, silver hardware, and um, I'm just going to show y'all real quick. Okay, so this is my little... Or Estelle. Um, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna do a separate video on this, but I'm gonna move some of this over so you can just kind of see what it looks like with things in it. And I will do a separate video. I'm waiting for some other stuff to come, but I'll do a separate video when I get it set up. The one thing about pocket size is um, you generally do not have a lot of space on the rings. So you have to sort of figure out what's important to you. And to me, everything is important. Everything has to go on there. I'm Team Chunky. This is not easy. So, a cloth and paper minimalism card. I'll tuck it there. A little page marker. All right, so. Here is, I love this blue on the white. So here's a little setup. This is all old stuff that I'll swap out and set up. But um, you can get a good, good amount of things in here and you still have, I still have a lot of room. So like this has no inserts. Um, a page marker page lifter back here in the back but I'm wondering if I could slide it into
Yeah, you've got a good amount of space. This is, you've got a good amount of space between the, like, top tab. Um, they're not, like, over the top. It's, there's room to clear it. Um, same thing with the side. Now, let's test out a pin. It does have a little pin loop. And... Out. Even the pin loop is tight. So now you're starting to get into some dividers and things with it resting up against the pin loop. You can sort of manipulate that and have it rest in between. So you do have that option. Um, pin sticks out a little bit on the top. But like I said, again, there's plenty. Of, I have a ton of little dividers in here. There's really no inserts. So there's plenty of room for the addition of some inserts. Um, or even if you don't like a little, a lot in there, like it wouldn't look bad with just a few things. These are all, almost all dividers and layering. So, um, that is the cloth and paper, a pocket contoured agenda. And, um, once I get all my little goodies in, I will do a video showing you how I set it up haven't quite decided what I'm going to use it for. I think it would be fun to um, use it as like a wallet sometimes. I'm the type of person though, like this is white and it's going to get dirty and I don't like that and I don't want to just throw it in any bag and so I don't know. That's my one, my one drawback but it is too pretty to just have it sitting here and not to use. So that is the cloth and paper, I guess spring um, a steet box, the April collection is what it is called. Um, just to go through all of the items with you again really quick. We have the agenda, the inserts, the journaling inserts, and the frosted um, pocket. We have the yield incense and incense holder, the oil body scrub, the Gia non-alcoholic aperitif, the Joy Jolt glasses, the Oco spices, the Levant collection cleaning kit, and that is everything. So let me know what your favorite thing is. Um, or anything that you want to know more about. Again, the reason I grabbed the Esteep box was really primarily for the um, agenda. And so that is definitely my favorite thing. Um, but I will say I was very interested in the um, Levant cleaner. Um, I love a fresh linen scent, so that this is just a fun way for me to try that. I love cleaning supplies. I don't love cleaning. Um, I was very pleasantly surprised by the scent on this. So I'm looking forward to giving it a try. Um, and I'm interested in trying out the recipe. So like, I feel like everything in here I will use. The only thing I'm like, need more information is the Gia. Just because I'm picky and like, I need to know what I'm getting myself into. I'm not one to try uh, new things every now and then I get adventurous and I'll try something new, but that's not, mm, I, I have to get past the, this looks like a Bloody Mary and I'm not there yet. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and, um, a thorough review of the cloth and paper April collection of the Estite box. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and joining our community. If you're returning, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to post down below what your favorite thing is. Bye.